Okay everyone, so I went to the Filipino market earlier and I bought some different items. I'm gonna be trying them live on the spot. I've never had these uh, meals before. So the first one I got, and so, I'm so sorry if I butchered the pronunciation. This one is called, however you say that, K-A-L-A-M-A-Y. And this is made out of rice flour, coconut milk with sugar and ube powder which I believe is from that. Um, ube is something they use a lot of. It's like a purple sweet potato. Uh, so I'm gonna try this. I've never had this before, and I'm gonna give it a shot and let you know what I think of it. So right off the back, it is very textury. Like that is almost like, like a thick, very textury, very, very thick. Let's see. Oh, that is, I know, so different. I was almost like, I feel like I'm chewing gum. Wow. That is, that is really good actually. It is really sweet though. Look how textury that is. Wow. That is, that is so sweet. I need to flush that down with some coconut water. That is so sweet, but that is really good. Wow. If that was organic, I'm giving that a 10 out of a 10. That is so good. So good. Okay. Um, then the, another one I got here is, I don't know how you say that, so I'm going to show it there. K-U-T-S-I-N-T-A. Kutsinata. I'm gonna give that one a shot. One moment here. Give that a try. Again, this one is sugar, water, rice, lahai. What's lahi? I don't know what that is. What is lahi? Huh. Okay, let's try this one first. This one's called Sapi, Sapin Sapin, Sapin Sapin. I've never had this one either. Again, very, very sticky. As you can see, that is almost like gum. Wow. I've never... I've never had a cake like this before. This is actually really good. Wow. And I guess you just eat it like this. Uh, honestly, that is really good. It's very, as you can see, look at my fingers. It's, it's very textury. Like the texture of this is just so interesting. Now this one's called S. Espasol. Espasol. So let's try this one too. These are really good. I mean, this is very different than a traditional cake. And the fact that I'm, um, you know, vegan, none of these have dairy. At least the ones I have don't have dairy. So it kind of makes it easy for me to kind of eat. Okay, so now let's try this one. Okay, so this one's also very very starchy like as you can see it just breaks apart real easy no almost like it's almost like if you fused cake and gum together you would have this i know that sounds strange but it's like eating cake with a gum wow that is it's really it's really textury in your mouth. Okay, now, I don't know how you say that. I'm so sorry. If someone's Filipino or speaks Tagalog, please let me know how you say this, because I'm killing the beautiful pronunciation of these words here, because I don't know what this stuff is, or how to say it, I should say. I know what it is, because I could read the ingredients, but I don't know how to say it. Okay, so this one is not as textury, but it looks like there's a lot of rice in that. 
Wow. That almost feels like I'm eating, it almost feels like pudding. Like if I got rice pudding and made it a cake. Wow. These are, these are, these are way better than I thought. I should have brought a napkin. I didn't realize they were going to be so messy, but hey, it is what it is. Wow, that's really interesting. And then we have this one here. I don't know how you say that, guys. But let's give this one a shot, too. Very interesting. Look at that color. That's from that sweet potato that they have a lot of. Let's look at that. Oh, that's really good. You can taste the coconut. Man, I'm gonna have a sugar high tonight. And Friday nights are when I take my day off to rest. I'm gonna be up like, I better go to the gym. That is so, that is so sweet, wow. So to recap, we got this one here. How do you pronounce that? We have this one here. Wow, these are really good. We got this one here. Espasol. And then we have this one here. Sapin, sapin. And then we have this one here. Yeah, so to describe the taste, it's almost like having cake and gum. I don't know how else to explain it, but it is really sticky. My hands are really sticky. So, I would advise you use a spoon for this. I wasn't thinking. And then something else I had got um, from the Filipino store are these here. Um, I don't know how you say this, Sumna Salia. So these are uh, banana leaves, apparently. So these are banana leaves. And let's give this a shot too. So banana leaves are really popular uh, for the Filipino culture to cook. Uh, they wrap a lot of things with it too, but these are banana leaves. So this is like also a kind of a dessert. I've never had this, but they wrap it in banana leaves, as you can see here. Oh, so sorry guys. I'm here filming at the beautiful park today. It's just a beautiful day. But yeah, look at that. That is so cool. That's fascinating how they use the banana leaf like that. It's funny, I didn't know when I went to the Filipino store, I asked, do you guys eat banana leaves? They're like, no, 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 it's just, Wow, check that out. Ooh, that's beautiful. That is a presentation, if I must say so. That is a presentation. Look at that. That is beautiful. So now let's try that. Wow. That is so interesting. So this one doesn't have any I don't know what that is. What's lahai, lahi, lahai? I'm gonna have to look that up. I keep seeing ingredients with it. I don't even know what I'm eating. I better be careful. Um, certain things I'm not supposed to be eating. But yeah, that's my breakdown of the Filipino, Filipino um, dishes. And then I had these uh, ubi thins, or ube thins, how you say that? Island Pacific. And this is like a sweet potato. And they have this with a lot of things. I had one of these earlier. These are just like crunchy. They're like basically more sweet version of sweet potato chips. And they're really, really good. Something else I got that's kind of interesting. I'm not gonna eat this one. I broke one earlier. Maybe I'll break one here just to show you guys. I'm gonna feed this to cats because I don't eat meat. I'm not, I'm gonna feed it to a cat. This is balut. Balut. So this is literally like, it's literally like a baby duck fertilized baby duck in here uh, like I said I might break it just to show it to you guys because I am NOT eating this and it will be fed to a cat so it's not gonna go to waste or what an animal uh, I don't believe in wasting any food food is so expensive and hard to come by it's a shame to shame to waste things but this is what the egg looks like 
I don't even know if ducks are, ducks are proper to eat, but that's the duck egg right there. And like I said, what I'll do is I'm gonna break it, I'll step on it and show you. You can see all the, the baby duck, it's, like I said, it's gonna get fed to something, just not me. So give me one second here, guys. Ooh, crunched it. Uh, that was pretty gross, I don't know why I did that. Okay, so when you open it, Let's see here if I can show it to you guys on the ground. Oh. All right, guys, it's, this is really gross, but I'm gonna show it to you. So, when we come down here, as you can see, that is, you can see the baby duck is still in there. I just stepped on it. Uh, let's see if I have something to kind of move it around so you all can see what exactly it looks like. What do I have here to move it with? I wasn't thinking when I did this, but yeah, you can see the baby duck is still in there. Look, you can see the feathers. Uh, it's a fertilized duck egg. That's really what it comes down to. I don't want to touch it, but yeah, you could see, you could literally see the duck's body in there. Uh, it was a fertilized baby duck egg. And you could see the feathers. You sometimes, yeah, uh, see, I mean, you can see it. That's probably the head or part of the body. Um, like I said, I'm at the park here, so there's plenty of wild animals. We'll put this in the corner or the ants will eat this. It's not gonna, the baby's duck life is not gonna go in vain. But again, one last look at that. You could see that is a fertilized duck egg and that's balut. And a lot of Filipinos eat that. And uh, like I said, that's gonna get fed to the wild animals over here because I'm not eating a fertilized duck egg. But hey, I hope you all enjoyed it and I'm gonna try some more interesting Filipino dishes. See you all soon. Thank you.